open Photoshop and then open the file layered.psd from the support files. I've layered five photos here to save some time. Notice that we only see the top layer because unless the opacity or the blending mode is changed from the defaults of 100% and normal, top layers simply cover up layers below them. However, click the eye icon next to each layer to toggle visibility of each layer. Click and drag layers in the layers panel in order to rearrange them. Of course, the top layer will be the one visible by default. Notice that the background layer can't be moved above other layers. One layer files such as JPEGs have a background layer by default, as do PSD files in which the background layer has not been converted to a normal layer yet. It's a locked layer. To make it a normal layer, just click and drag the lock icon to the trash, or double click on the layer and name it something and click OK. Now that layer can be moved above other layers like other layers. We can remove pixels from these layers by making a selection with, for example, the marquee selection tool and then pressing backspace on the PC or delete on the Mac. Make sure you're on the same layer that you want to remove pixels from. Now those pixels are transparent because they have no content on them and show through to the layer below them. This is a very important point. This only affects the layer that we're on in the layers panel. Click the layer in the layers panel to highlight it in blue and then make a selection and delete. We can also add some brush strokes with the brush tool and that will affect only the layer that we're on. So if we wanted to add some brush strokes on their own layer, we would need to click the Create a New Layer icon on the bottom of the Layers panel, and then Brush. Then we can move it around on its own layer. To delete a layer, select it in the Layers panel and press Backspace or Delete on the keyboard, or click and drag it to the trash. We can also duplicate a layer by clicking and dragging it to the Create a New Layer icon, or by pressing Ctrl J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. If we make a selection of an area first, and then press Ctrl J or Command J, it will only duplicate that selected area to a new layer. To adjust the opacity or the fill of a layer, adjust the amount in those areas near the top right hand corner of the layers panel. We can also lock pixels of a layer such as transparent pixels, image pixels, or just lock the position of the layer or lock the entire layer. Sometimes there's a need to group layers for better organization. To group layers, just click the folder icon on the bottom of the layers panel, or go to layer, group layers, then click and drag layers into that folder. Another way to organize layers is to assign them colors. On the PC, right click on a layer in the layers panel, on a Mac, control click the layer. Then click one of the colors to assign that layer to a color. Then up where it says kind, select color, and the specific color to only see those layers with that assigned color. Or we can toggle this so we can find only the pixel layers, adjustment layers, type layers, 
shape layers, or smart objects. Other options including filtering layer by name, layers that have specific effects applied, filtering by layer blending mode, attributes, type of smart object, and layers that have an active selection. Click the red on off button to toggle the filtering. In the next lecture, we'll adjust layer blending modes for some specific looks.